Hey everyone, it's Steve here from TheEmotionMachine.com and today I wanted to talk a little bit about the neuroscience behind running away from your fears. Now there was a very very interesting study that just came out or it's just about to come out in this journal called eNeuro and what they did was they had participants play some Lord of the Rings themed game where they pretended they were Frodo and then they would encounter different different enemies and they could either choose to flee from the enemy or fight the enemy so it sort of played on the, the whole uh, fight or flight response now if they chose to fight the enemy then they would go through a quick reaction time test where who, like something would blink onto a screen and whoever um, clicked the button first would be the winner of the fight and whoever lost the fight would get a sound blast in their ears um, just an unpleasant sound nothing damaging or crazy painful but a little punishment for losing the fight and the game was rigged in a way where at least two-thirds of the fights you would lose and you would get the unpleasant sound blast now the most interesting thing about this study is they got to hook everyone up to fMRIs and look inside their brains and see how their brains responded responded differently whether they chose to fight or whether they chose to flee and the interesting thing that they found was that when people chose to flee from an enemy when they chose to run away from the encounter um, the the part of their brain the amygdala which is very responsible for fear and emotional response actually was way more activated when people chose to flee rather than when they chose to fight so I thought this was pretty interesting that when people chose to flee from an encounter when they chose to flee from a potentially threatening situation that their brain would actually show a greater fear response but when I think about it it actually makes a little bit of sense because I think that when you encounter a fear in your daily life um, you know even little things maybe like um, approaching a stranger when you have social anxiety or doing something that's a little bit outside of your comfort zone I don't know singing karaoke or something um, like that skydiving um, you know when you when you run away from that and you end up not engaging engaging it um, you sort of submitted to your brain's fear and your brain starts thinking oh wow that really really was a fearful and threatening situation like that's why I ran away from it I had to get away from that situation because it was just so fearful and so threatening but oftentimes when you engage your fear and you actually experience it it's not actually as fearful as when you run away from it so I think this study is a really good example of why we should be more comfortable with engaging our fears and and overcoming fear not by running away from it but by um, confronting it head-on and being being face to face with your fear and often um, you know just putting yourself in that fearful situation um, often makes the, the situation less fearful to you because usually our minds make up a lot of what we fear about a situation um, uncertainty about what will happen but when we actually put ourselves in that situation and experience it it's often a, a lot less fearful than we actually imagined it to be so um, you know and by fleeing away from these fears you know we we now see neuroscientifically that your brain lights up as a bigger fear response because you sort of have to further justify why you ran away from that fear and your brain your brain you know notices that you you ran away you disengaged you you fleed from this fear so you rationalize it as oh obviously it was it was just too much for me it was too much for me and that's why I couldn't engage that fear and you know the fact that I ran away from it just is just proof that um it was just too scary for me and I couldn't I couldn't do it um, I'm a little bit reminded by the popular uh, Nietzsche quote about um, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and I think that's very much true for when we face our fears because when you survive an experience that was fearful fearful or scary um, you, you prove to yourself that you can engage your fear and still survive that you can make it past that fear by confronting it so 
I think, again, that um, this whole theme um, is uh, very important to understand for our daily life. And, um, you know, a lot of the fears that we experience on a daily basis, especially fears that aren't even physically threatening, you know, it's not like bears are actually attacking us or, or aliens are coming down. You know, most of the things that we fear are social rejection and doing something embarrassing or or just going outside of our comfort zone a little bit. That's usually the types of things that we fear. And there's a big, you know, exposure therapy is a very popular therapy for for teaching people how to how to become more comfortable with their fears by actually stepping outside of their comfort zone and um, and actually engaging with that fear and just having that fearful experience and then when you make it past it, when you make it through that fearful experience then you see in your mind, oh I, I could actually I didn't really have that much to fear, I actually could make it past that that experience and survive it and um, and, um, and survive essentially so um, that's what I really wanted to share with you guys, I thought it was a very interesting study and it's just sort of a, a neural neuroscientific example of how engaging your fear can actually on, a, on, the, on the level of your brain um, make something less fearful than when you actually run away from something and choose not to engage with it then your fear response just goes you know higher and more it's more intense the fear response when you run away from something and you don't experience it so I thought it was a very interesting study I just wanted to share that with you guys and um, feel free to subscribe to my channel to stay updated on new videos, and I will chat with you guys again really soon. Have a good one.